What's happening, everybody? Pop Pete here, and uh, you tune into another episode of Pete. Can you tell me a story? Well, on this particular story time, I'm gonna tell you the first time that I met Bruno, aka Poppin' Taco. Um, uh, Bruno and my little brother Chicken Deg went to the same high school, which was Poly High School in Long Beach. Poly High School Tech, you know, Poly Tech with Jack Rabbit, straight up. When you know, we live right down the street from from. Uh, Poly High School. Congratulations to Poly doing anything in football uh, this year. But anyway, um, my brother came home, used to come home and tell me about this Mexican kid that did these weird moves. I'm like, you know, what, what kind of move? He said, man, something that he, you know, he, I, he never seen before. You know, he couldn't really describe it. He said he just do some weird stuff with his body, and they call it snake. And I said, snake, man, what is that? And I'm still, I'm trying to figure it out. Is it like pop? He said, no. Is it like boogaloo? He said, no. So I said, uh, I said, okay, cool. So. Poly High School was given their homecoming uh, uh, day, which is like, you know, homecoming rallies, or rallies where, you know, it's a football season or whatever, football game is played that night, so they have these big, uh, you know, celebrations, get the school pumped up, school spirit. So it was open campus. So the Electric Boogaloo's went up there, me, Sam, you know, uh, Robot Dane, uh, 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 Creepin' Sid, all of us, you know, uh, I'm not sure if Boozer was there. Boozer probably was in high school. But anyway, now, I think I was about 18 or 17, whatever it was, and uh, we went to the school, and they said, someone said, uh, Bruno is over by the bathroom. So I said, hey, Sam, man, that, that kid, Bruno's over by the bathroom, supposed to be doing all these dope moves. Let's go over there and check, this, check it out. But after we walked over there, we seen Daryl Johnston, who used to be in the electric boogaloos, or electronic boogaloos at the time, because um, we lived on the same block. You know who Daryl Johnston is? That's King Cobra. He's the one who created Snake. At the time, I didn't know. I didn't know that and had, didn't know that connection. But I seen him and you know uh, Bruno together. So you know, of course, I shook Daryl's hand. I didn't know Taco at the time. So I said, "Hey, you, Bruno." He said, "Yeah, yeah." With a smile on his face, you know, his hair slicked back, had a little fishnet on there. You know, he was doing his 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 thug 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 thing, uh, or whatever. But anyway, I said, "Let me see you get at him." You know, that's what we said back in the day. Let me see you get at him. So, he said, okay, and he took off, right? He doing all these weird, you know, I'm going like, I'm looking at him, right? I'm like, my face is like this. I'm looking over at Sam, I'm looking back at him. But inside my mind, I'm going like, God damn, what the hell was that? What is he doing? That it is dope, wow, what, how did he make his body do that? But my face, he see this, I'm like this. So he stopped, and I said, all right, that was cool. I said, can't you pop? Said, that was my comeback, you know. I said, I got my ace in the hole. I got him. Can you pop? Not, you know, forgetting that Daryl used to be in the, you know, down with us and learn from Sam also. So Daryl taught him a little pop, and then plus he's seen other people around doing it. At that time, it wasn't a lot of particular moves. It was just straight up doing that power and some angles and stuff. But he took off, right? Boom, cut, boom, cut. I'm like, you know, throw that power. I'm like this. My face is like this. But my mind is like this. Damn, this dude is popping hard. Man, what in the hell? This Mexican dude can get busy with his power popping. What? What is going on? But my face. Now I'm looking at Sam. Looking back at him. Looking him up and down. He stopped. I said. Yeah, I. Sam, let's go. So I, we proceeded. Me and Sam turn around. Sam ain't saying much, but I, you know, I'm over here doing all the talking. So I say, all right, man, y'all, you know, shook Daryl hand, shook Bruno hand, walked away. But I'm talking to Sam as I'm walking away, and I'm going, damn man, what the hell was that? Damn, that's maybe. He was, did you see how hard he was popping? And what was that other stuff he was doing? This body, that snake and stuff. Damn, that stuff dope. Wow. Sam like, I don't know, man. It was kind of cold, man. It was, it was, it was. I was like, I don't know what it was, but then I look back at, you know, I look back at Taco like Bruno like this, like my face, my, my mind. What the hell? Anyway, Taco. Um, uh, a couple few months uh, after that, uh, Taco. Someone got in contact with me and, and said that Taco wanted to learn how to pop and boogaloo from me. So Taco used to come over when he was 16 years old on his little moped, 6 o'clock in the morning. He used to skip school. I'm about to tell the truth, uh, Taco. She used to uh, skip school 
and come and learn uh, from me at 6 a.m. in the morning. Damn. But um, Taco actually became my first student, uh, official student. Anyway, uh, that's the story of, um, of how I met Bruno, a.k.a. Poppin' Taco. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Pete. Tell me a story, and I'm gone.